It's May 10th, 2024. A few days ago, I decided that May will be a month of creativity for me. Double creativity. That means that I not only will be creating, I will be painting and making those videos here, but also I will be sharing here on YouTube the creative obstacles and how to overcome the creative obstacles. Just recently, I decided I was excited about creating a third project for myself. And then I realized I don't have enough physical energy and possibly mental energy for this, though I really want to create it. And then I had this illumination that if not some of the creative obstacles, it wouldn't be a problem. I have enough time even for this. What does it mean for you? If you are working on something, if you have a creative project for work or your hobby, if you are writing a book, creating digital content or making art in whatever form, and you are not experiencing creative freedom most of the time, if you still struggle sometimes with losing your power, losing your creative momentum, and maybe even comparing yourself, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so we can solve it together. I was already able to overcome a lot of my own creative obstacles, but sometimes they still show up and they slow me down and they suck the energy out of me. And it is important for me to work on it because one of my strongest, most visible archetypes in my life is the artist. I just came back to painting after 24 years of not paint, not really painting. I made some art, but it wasn't really painting. What is that? What, is, what does it even mean? And... I am still hitting some creative obstacles. As I'm making these videos, making videos for YouTube is also a creative outlet for me. It brings me a sense of satisfaction. And I am still hitting some creative obstacles, basically those that come from my mind and from my self-judgment. When we hit creative obstacles, what does it mean? How does it look like? We are losing momentum. We are losing our energy. We start engaging in thoughts that are not nice to ourselves. And the worst that happens, sometimes we put the work away, sometimes for a day and sometimes for months. Most of us will pick up something creative because creative job or a hobby because it brings us joy, right? There is a force within ourselves that wants to be expressed. If you try to squish it, you become depressed. That's a fact. Sometimes you gain weight. You start overeating because the fulfillment for you would come from creativity. But you decide to squish it, so you try to fulfill yourself in a different way. If you are coming to my channel and you are kind of lost, please go to the playlist about creativity and this is where you will find all those videos. I also wanted to add a word about how I learned to see creativity. One of the ways is seeing a creative project coming through the chakras. If you are familiar with the chakras, they are basically energy centers in our energy field in our subtle body, but they are also connected with our physical body. But for the purpose of creativity, I like to think about the chakras as portal through which the creative ideas flow. If there is a creative idea and inspiration, it first has to come to the eighth chakra. Let's not have an argument about how many chakras are there, because I know that we can have the argument for the purpose of this work, let's assume that there are eight chakras. And when you have an impulse to create something, when you have an idea, an inspiration, the idea first enters your eighth chakra. But for the idea to be created, to be manifested in a physical form, it has to go through all of the chakras until it reaches 
the first chakra at the bottom of the spine. What it means for the creative process is that the energy has to be condensed, coming from something very light into something material. And, you know, as well as I do, that it is easy to just think about something. It is so easy to talk about stuff, but when it comes to creativity, it is harder. Why? Because we have to engage the material tools. We have to find time, space, and create focus to do the work. And we have to battle our inner obstacles along the way. So the creative obstacles I will be talking about, they very often will be related to the different chakras. Tell me in the comments, what do you want to create in May? I will be posting both videos and shorts. And if you didn't know, right now YouTube most recognizes and rewards uh, the shorts and 30 minute videos. If you could do me a favor and like and share this video, that would help me a lot when it comes to algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do this now. I want to acknowledge all the recent subscribers. Thank you very much for being here. And thank you all the subscribers that have been with me since the beginning. Thanks for watching. See you soon.